all right welcome back to learnpiezo.org um, today uh, we're going to be beginning a project so actually using a piezoelectric device uh, in the form of commercially available components and we're going to use it to create a uh, ultrasonic cleaner so this is part this is the first project we're going to be doing on learnpiezo.org so I guess we'll just call it project one and this is lecture one of that project as well so we know one of the main uses of piezoelectric materials in actuator type devices is utilizing the fact that it can create ultrasonic frequency all the way in the megahertz range I believe in even gigahertz in some cases but mainly we use the, them and we can use them up to megahertz so also there are you know applications where you use them in hertz and this would be an example of a low frequency uh, case would be where the actuator or sensor is very flexible then you use it in this case but in this case the actuator should be quite hard and that would usually consist of and make it a very stiff uh, thus giving it a higher resonance frequency and a, and a larger frequency range by which we can use it uh, use this device so we're going to be creating an ultrasonic cleaner uh, today I'm just going to be going over the overview of the project. Um, this is a really exciting project for me to undertake is because I've never really, uh, I've, it's going to be the first time for me to take a piezoelectric uh, product from components and assemble all of those together to make an actual uh, practical, practically usable um, uh, piezoelectric device that you know you can use at home for you know cleaning jewelry or something to that effect or cleaning you know a bottle or a glass or something like that so we're going to be using the following components to make the ultrasonic cleaner and just in case you no know, somebody doesn't know what ultrasonic cleaner is we have basically a tub and we put some type of solution inside and then we have usually this is the case this is how they usually make have them and they have a beaker with some different cleaning solvent inside and then you have let's say some nice ruby jewelry okay your ruby and then we'll use a little bit of gold here okay it's not gonna work there but let's say it's something like silver so we have this jewelry with the silver necklace with a ruby at the end and you want to clean it so you put it in the ultrasonic cleaner and it gets in all the crevices and makes the jewelry sparkle or you have a laboratory beaker a smaller beaker and you want to clean it really well and you don't want to scrub in it because you don't need soap and scrubbing and that's just not good for a laboratory environment obviously because you don't want to leave that residue and um, elbow grease too I use why why use your elbow grease if you don't have to so you put that um, beaker or whatever object you want to clean maybe it has some hard to reach areas you put in an ultrasonic cleaner and you have your transducers on the bottom at times they have many transducers so let's say these are transducers they're bonded to the, use the bottom of the plate and they make a loud sound if you ever hear it going off so these are the people they, they basically send the ultrasonic waves through the water and that goes to the water and it sort of vibrates at a uh, at a very detailed level uh, the dirt away from the or the dirt or residue and it dissolves it very well through the mechanical rubbing action from the water uh, being uh, having ultrasonic waves propagating through it and it cleans very effectively so this is one of the most common sort of low lower level applications of piezoelectric materials uh, in the form of ultrasonic cleaners uh, which has been uh, implemented so we're gonna go do it so we're gonna start small we're gonna start with this actuator sort of type this is this is what I would like to call a dumb not it's not dumb but it was like to call it I don't, the dumb is not a good word I, I'll use simple it's a simple application but it can teach you a lot about what's going on 
So I'll show you the different components, which I think, so I haven't done it already, so I'm going to be doing it in front of you, so if I make a mistake, hey, that's great, we can all learn together. And if I don't make a mistake, then you can say, wow, this guy knows piezos, um, we got to hire this guy to work on our piezo project. Um, so, more about that on my website, uh, and please visit the website. Learn www.learnpiezo.org. The information is uh, of, of the law of the lectures is organized quite well on there. We also have a YouTube uh, channel which has all the lectures also in a nice uh, orderly format. So what are the basic uh, steps for this project? First you need something to create a signal. That namely an AC signal. And then we have to amplify that signal. Then we have to use that to drive the piezoelectric transducer. But in order to know what kind of signal we need and if the amplifier will do its correct job, we have to characterize that transducer. So we'll be doing characterization, which is character. Okay, character. So that was what my PhD was mainly about, characterization, characterization, okay. So we're doing some characterization of the transducer to understand its performance and, and uh, see what frequency we actually would optimally drive this transducer and how it changes from when the piezoelectric transducer is freestanding and when it is finally attached to the vessel. So we're gonna attach that piezoelectric, attach that transducer uh, the ultrasonic cleaning transducer to the bottom of a metal cup or small little pot to the bottom of a pot or bottom of a cup metal cup and then we're going to turn it on hey and does it clean we're going to try to figure that out too and seeing as then we're going to try to understand the performance. So this is the basic steps. I'm going to be advertising all the different types of equipment that I'm going to be using and having links to those on Amazon. And um, it would be great if you use those links to support uh, this project. Remember, go back to learnpso.org and look up those products. And if you're interested in using them, because they're, I bought them, so I thought they were a good buy. And, and I'm using them, so they obviously must work. Um, I would say... Uh, Use the link and buy it and help support learnpiezo.org um, and the different works which we do here. Uh, so we're going to be testing, we're going to be doing all these steps. Uh, it's an interesting project. This is the first part of the lesson, just an introduction. The basic steps is we produce a signal, we have to amplify it, we use it to drive the transducer, we have to attach the transducer to the bottom of the cup using epoxy. So there's a lot of different practical steps here like how do you properly bond a transducer to the bottom of something. Um, we'll be going over that. Um, other considerations will also be coming along the way and there'll be a lot to learn. Uh, and I'm probably going to take a lot of detours to explain things which uh, I think all the viewers will find interesting. Uh, because we're not only going to build it, we're going to actually show and explain what each of the steps mean, what each of the parts does and um, have fun while doing it. So again, this was lecture, or I guess this is project one, uh, lecture one, and the ultrasonic cleaning series. And even more fun, what I'm planning to do is use an Arduino at the end. So how can Arduino? So use that to uh, power this and generate the signal and it's going to be great. So you better stick around. Thanks for watching.